All right, workplace 30, this is section 3.3. We're talking about percentile ranking today. So percentile ranking, there are two parts to this. And uh, the first part, the first word, uh, the root word is percent, okay? So yes, we are gonna be dealing with percents. Um, uh, we're gonna show the percentile ranking as a percent. So it's gonna be 50% or 80% or something like that. Now, the other, the other word is ranking, and the root to that is rank. So this is a way to show where a data value ranks in a list of data values. So for example, this might be helpful for talking about, well, I, I am a father and um, when our kids were born, we would take the kids to the public health and get them uh, inspected, <laughs> inspected, um, get them looked at and, and uh, they would weigh them and, and measure their height and stuff. And, and so then the, the public health nurse would tell us, okay, so here's the data for your child. The height of your, your son is in the 85th percentile. The weight is in the you know, 95th percentile or something like that. And so what that means is compared to other infants that are the same age, uh, compared to a large group, uh, there's roughly for, uh, for weight, there's roughly, let's say it was 85 85th percentile that means there's roughly 85 percent uh, of all other babies at that age would be would weigh less than 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 my son and then roughly 15 percent would weigh more so it's a way of ranking so are you up near the top or up you know near the bottom or in the middle and so um so this is a way just to compare your 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 data or your uh, mark or your whatever your height your weight to the rest of the group okay it's a percentile ranking if you scored really high in a test and you were among the top of the class, you, they might say you were in the top fifth percentile. The top fifth percentile. That would mean that there would be, you would be, if you're in the top fifth percent, that means you're probably around that 95th percentile, okay, in the top five. So that means you're about the 95th or somewhere above that. So roughly at least 95% of all of the other scores would be less than yours, okay? That's what that means. So that's a bit of a long-winded explanation. I hope, hope you understand that. But um, what's important is that we get to this formula right here. So how do we calculate a percentile ranking? So this is the formula right here. And how we calculate this is, is this. So I'm going to just get my skinny pen here. So PR is percentile rank, okay? Equals, so how do we find out? Well, this B value, this B value um, refers to all of the data points or the values that are beneath the data value that's under consideration, okay? So let's say your data value was here. We count the number of values beneath, okay, in the group. And the N is the total. So this is B stands for beneath, so number of values beneath. And N is the total number of values. So you can kind of see where we're getting the percent uh, from, especially when you add this times 100, right? So um, if, if um, it, let's say uh, 85 test scores were beneath your test score and there was 100 in total, your percentile rank would be 85 divided by 100 times 100, which is the 85th percentile, okay? So that's very important. And if you understand what B is and what N is, that's great. And that's really, really important. That's the bulk of it. So here's an example we're going to look at, example one. Example one says the players on the senior boys volleyball team have the following heights. And these are, these are the heights listed. Now, in order to find the percentile rank for, let's say, this number right here, what we need to find is we need to find B. That is the number of values that are beneath that number. And in order to do that, we probably should, and I, I would strongly suggest you list these numbers in order, okay? So the lowest, then the next lowest right here, then the next one, and you write them in order from lowest to highest, okay? That's your first step, write the numbers in order. Then what you do is you find the data value that's in question right here, 172. Once you've found that, you then count the number of data values that are beneath that, and that's your B. So right here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? So in our formula now that we're going to use to calculate percentile rank, and here's on the next page, you see right here, this is the work for A, we put 6. You see the 6 right here? We put the 6 in for the B value. 
And then of course the total numbers, there was 12 boys on the team, so there's 12 numbers, that's the value that goes there. So a very simple example here, um, you just do six divided by 12 times 100 and you get 50. So you write, your answer is, the player with the height of 172 centimeters is in the 50th percentile or has a 50th percentile rank in this group, which means that roughly, approximately, 50% of the group is uh, shorter and 50% is taller. Now, if you, upon careful inspection, it's not always the fact that there's exactly 50% above and exactly 50% below because your value, this 172, is one of the values. So you gotta pluck that out of the group. So it's not always the exact same number in this case, 50 above, 50 below. Uh, that's just something you have to understand about this. So it's roughly or approximately 50% below and 50% above. Okay, now I did, a, I did a little example here, which I'll just show you. I did the work here for you. So in Build Your Skills question number one in the following data set, calculate the percentile rank of the number eight. So I'll just to kind of erase this so we can see this. The number eight is right here in the list. And these numbers are ordered from least to greatest, which is helpful. We don't have to rewrite the order. Once I find the eight, that's the number in question, I, um, I count the number of numbers that are less than eight. And there's just one number that's less than eight. So guess what? My B value is one. One number that's less than the da data value in question. One. The total, count them all up, there's 10. So the percentile rank equals one divided by 10 times 100. The percentile rank for the number eight is 10%, okay? Percentile rank, and you can write little number eight as a subscript there if you want, percentile rank, or whatever, you can write it out in words, it'd be even better, but it's 10%. Now, the same thing could be, uh, you could do the same thing for B and find eight, okay? These are all written in order, there's only one number beneath eight, so the percentile rank for eight here in this list is also one out of 10 times 100, okay? Uh, now, these are some questions that you can do um, for some more practice, okay? Uh, these are much the same. They're just practice questions that you can, you can do these ones. I won't make you do them right now, but instead, uh, what I will do is I will tell you about one other important important thing that you, you need to know uh, on this intro to percentile rank. So let me just go over this example right here. Um, so if you're in your workbook, page 135, if you have that, uh, you can take a look there. That's where we are. But in this example here, this example asks for a uh, percentile rank for this guy's Sargent. Um, but the difference here is that there are three people that have the same score as him. Okay. So remember, when we're finding percentile rank, the B is the number of data points or the values that are beneath. So you can't count Sarjit's value because he's the one that we're looking for. You also cannot count the other three scores. So there's four scores that, are, that you can't count. So let's see, how do we figure this out? The question reads, Tom and Sarjit have just completed the mortgage brokerage in BC course in order to become mortgage brokers. There were 175 people in the course. So B says, if 50 students scored higher than Sarjit and three people got the same score, what is his percentile rank? So think about it this way now. There are 175 people. 50 of those people right here scored higher than Sarjit. So here's Sarjit. But also there were three other people that scored the same. So we can't count Sarjit or those other three scores. And so what we have to do is we have to find how many scores were beneath Sarjit, okay? So I'll take a, take a moment to process that. If you think about it that way, here we have 175 minus 50 minus four. Sarjit and his three people that got the same score as him. And that's gonna be equal to B. And I apologize for the crash there. All right, so in order to find B right here, we do 175 minus 50 minus four. Okay, and the, this, the work for B is down here. 175 minus 50 minus the four, okay? Q 
cannot count those as being beneath. So in our calculation, there's 121 scores that were beneath Sargit and his three other guys that got the three other people that got the same score. Okay, so we would use 121 as the as the B value, 175 as the total. Do that division times 100. The percentile rank for Sargit is in the 69th percentile. Okay, so that's one little piece that you have to pay attention to when you're when you're dealing with percentile rank. B is only the scores beneath. It does not include your score or the other scores that are identical. You cannot count that as, as the B value. All right. So um, that's, I think, uh, I think that's where we'll end um, the first video here. There are some practice questions, which maybe what I'll do is I will uh, get you to practice with these questions here. And uh, you can do any one of these questions. And I'll just show you on the screen here what the questions are. And uh, I will also show you the uh, solutions just at the end of this, this lesson, okay? And then example three, this is part two, so you can look at the part two video for the second part of Workplace 30. Uh, I believe this is section 3.3. So here's the answers to those Build Your Skills questions coming out right up. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the questions number two and uh, there's number two, build your skills. There's number three. And again, pause the video if you want to uh, take a crack at these. I'm going to show you the answers in a second. There's example two. And uh, let's see more build your skills questions. So there's number four and five. Number six. And here are the solutions to those build your skills questions. So the solutions for number one. A, which we did together, is, is 10. B is also 10. We took a look at that one as well. Uh, 2A. B. You can have a percentile rank of 0. You cannot have a percentile rank of 100 or greater because, remember, the B is always the numbers that are beneath a given value. So even if you're at the very top of the list, there's never 100% of the values that are beneath you because you're one of them. So you cannot be in a percentile rank of 100. You can only be 99, whatever. That's the kind of the, tall, the, the largest percentile rank that someone can achieve or a data value can achieve. But you can be zero because there can be zero items beneath you if you're at the bottom of the list. So there's 2C, there's 3A, 3B, yeah. Does N just matter in that? 3C. N is the total number of items, okay. right? No, no, no. If we're talking about why could it not be over 100, the N doesn't, is not included. It's just the B value. So if you have the top score in the entire province, the entire country, you would not be at the 100th percentile because there's not 100% of all of the values that are beneath you because you're one of them, so you can't count you. Yeah. So there's 99 point whatever percent, right? So you'd be in the 99th percentile. That'd be the top that you could achieve. Yeah. Okay, so, um, oh, there's four and five as well. Sorry, we'll keep going here. I'm gonna look at some of the solutions there. And six. Not sure what we went up to in this, uh, <laughs> in this video. Yeah, there's nine in total, but I think th this video, I, I think we maybe just did the six, right? Up to seven, maybe. And then there's only two questions. Okay. So there's number seven, number eight, two, just for kicks. All right, so that's the intro to percentile rank. Like. Oh. Subscribe. Yeah. Comment. Comment. Go to my website, mrbathball.com. Subscribe. Bye.